What's up guys, Lunar here, and welcome back to another video. So today we're on the Critocraft server again, and we do have a few plans for today. Now, first thing you are going to notice is, well, where I'm standing right now. So in between episodes, there has been a lot going on. Because I haven't recorded a lot of videos on here, and I didn't really think I had anything to out. Stop it. But anyway, pretty much as you can see, I have quite a few good tools now, along with some pretty good stuff. But yeah. So I was just here gathering some resources, but today's plan is not just to get some XP or whatever, ow. No, today's plan is if you've already seen in here, has to do with these seven blocks. Now, I'm first of all, just because it's been a while, I'm actually going to go ahead and show you what's been going on on the server. I might come back and grab some of these later, but not now. But yeah, let me just go ahead and show you. So first of all, you're going to notice, of course, this giant gold farm. So this gold farm was created by me and Joshua Chrisman. Neither, uh, Chrisman's not on right now. But pretty much how this works is, I'm gonna link it in the description, but this was the creation by... I forgot his name. You'll figure it out. But yeah, this was used by Iskal85 as well, from the Hermitcraft server. And along with that, that's pretty much that, let's head down. So here is our nether hub. Uh, since we're here anyway, we might as well go and show you the shopping district. But right now, as of 1.15.2, there is a way for us to link nether portals up to the roof of the nether. So, with that, we are now at spawn. There are a few new shops. So, obviously, this is still the same. Uh, this is the mob farm, with mob shop that NPC created at the start, which I am currently supplying the bones and arrows for. Aside from that, we have the cow shop, which I never really got to using, so I'm probably going to tear, either tear that down later, or I'm going to have to create a... Uh, what's it called? A... Uh, passive mob farm. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Uh, uh, there's this rocket shop by the Chrisman Brothers as well. And it looks like something blown, blew up, but they do have a lot of different kinds of rockets. Though it doesn't look like they're making many sales, so... I really don't need those right now, but... If I do, I might come back here. There's the INC shop over there, which I can't go into right now. Apparently, NPC has also fixed his elytra shop. Yeah, there are a few here. There, Here is the wood shop. Now, this was also created by the Chrismans, but I helped with the wood farm, which I'll show you soon. So, I'm pretty sure I do get a bit of this diamonds for myself as well. Though, it looks like we haven't stocked this yet. Now, that is a fire hazard. Now that's almost it. Of course there's this bone shop, which I'm not too sure who made this. Whoever was thinking about buying from here? No, don't, don't. It's a lot cheaper over there. Shh. We're gonna head over to the industrial district, which is pretty much what this savannah area is now. So a few new people have joined and you see that green monstrosity over there and that is in fact our wood farm. Now, this is actually a mango design, but it only works with oak and birch. So, oh wait, oh yeah, that's my dog. I found another dog, it's my dog. I feel like it looks kind of like this guy, though, look, look at those eyes. But yeah, anyway, this is the tree farm. That's all that's been here, so I've helped with a few farms now. Aside from that, we have a new member on this server. Well, actually, two new members. Well, three to be exact. First of all, you can see a little Wi-Fi on there, of course. There's this one where Voop used to live, but set after he left the server. It was claimed by Dino. Not sure how to say his entire name, but it's just Dino for now. And other than that, we do have a new one called Ariona3, if that's actually how you spell the name. And I do have this area, which I currently claim, but can't really do anything about that right now, so we're gonna leave that. Well, that's pretty much all of its change at spawn, so now let's head back to our base. So I have actually set myself up with a tiny villager trading hall. Uh, let me show you guys. Just these villagers over here. Uh, so I have two clerics where I make most of my emeralds from. Because along with that gold farm over there, we do make a lot of rotten flesh. So, that's a lot of stat- Ooh. Um... Well, okay, looks like someone's paying me for something. With all that out of the way, I think we should actually get into the main part of the video. But I actually haven't 
done much in survival before. As in, there isn't much. There isn't much stuff that like normal people would say they've done in survival that I can say I've done, such as beating the Ender Dragon fair square, or even find the Wither because I've never gone that far in survival, which is honestly kind of sad. And I don't have any torches, so we're just gonna have to work with this area here. But yeah, since uh, I haven't done that yet, that also means I've never gotten a beacon before. As in, well, actually, I haven't even worked with it too much in survival in creative. So. What I'm going to be doing today is, I, I'm going to be fighting the Wither, and since I don't want it to blow up everything I've been working on so far, I'm going to be sticking it down here. Keep in mind, I've never fought the Wither before, I'm going to leave that for now. So I really don't know what I'm doing, so I need to make sure my stuff is safe. See, I think this area is safe enough. Boop, 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 boop. So aside from that, I'm pretty sure I'm set. Of course, I'm going to actually be taking that off, and I probably won't need that, so I'm going to be keeping those safe here. Other than that, though, I'm going to need a lot of food to make sure I'm safe. And yeah, that's it, but... Hmm, don't, don't worry about it. But yeah, this is actually my first time fighting a wither. <sighs> okay, okay. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Nothing strange is going to happen. Nothing strange at all. <laughs> oh no, I forgot a shield. No, no, this is bad. Um, well, no, what are you talking about? Nothing so weird about that. One. Oh, oh, that was a mistake. Um, okay, well then. Oh, that hurt. Well, you see, there, there is something slightly strange about that. Let me turn down the volume. Um, yeah, well, I may or may not have changed the texture for the withers. So, oh, I have to attack him normally now. Okay, 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 okay. Um, oh, oh, that's loud. Be gone, be gone, demon. Be gone! <laughs> I don't like this. Okay, surprisingly, this is easier than I thought it would be. Well, I mean, that, that works, I guess. Um... Though I'm probably gonna have to make a new mine if I want to do this again. There we go, and we have a Witherhead as well. My name's Josh. Josh A. Wilbur. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, well, that's the majority of the video covered now. Um, okay, bye. No, wait, no, 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 don't go yet. It's um, April Fools. Yeah, I'm good at this. Now we're just gonna have to go ahead and make this into something that would otherwise be impossible to make. Crap. Now I just have to make this into the beacon. That was actually pretty much my entire plan for the entire video, so... Um... I don't know what I'm doing now, so we're just gonna stick some stuff in there. Let me think. One, two, three. Oh. One, two, three. Three of those. Five of these. And that should be all I need. I could just press that, but I'm, I'm gonna make this suspenseful. Three. Two, one, and another star. And we've got a beacon. Heck yeah. All right, but one thing about the beacon is why is it so slow to break? All right, well then, that's one good thing about the farm because we have an overabundance of gold blocks. Now, since we have actually most of the entire thing planned out already, so I, most of the video is already over with, so we're just going to end this off with a quick mining time lapse. And I'm not going to try to fly down this again because that, that didn't work too well last time. After spending a good 20 minutes trying to figure out how beacons work, this happened. Hey, it actually worked. Alright, bring home the bacon and the bacon egg. Now, let's see. Oh, shoot. Are you kidding me? Okay, then. Well, then. We're going to have to go ahead and fly back up and grab ourselves. Some actual ingots. So I press that, I do that, and I press that. Alright, I now have haste to, which should mean, in theory, I can break all of this with one hit. Yes. Kill the time lapse.
didn't end on a high note. But yeah, right now I'm stuck under the lava. Hopefully Little Wolf will be able to help me later on. But anyways, with that, that's our entire video for now. That's all the time I have for today. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, that, that was a mistake. April Fools!